Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is the 2006 Finmaster 6400 MC Cruiser. She's powered by a Volvo Penta D3 130 horsepower turbo diesel engine, previously owned by a retired Navy veteran who took very good care of her. He gives up voting due to ill health. Now what she is, and it's in the name MC, she's a multi-capable platform. Now she gives you bow riding facilities at the top. You also have this full enclosure with sliding patio doors, much like a pilot house, but it's also got accommodation like a cabin cruiser. You can use her to fish off of as well. And then there is a huge, bearing in mind the size of the boat, there's a huge aft cockpit space as well, and a very large extended swim platform. These boats are perfect. Now remember they are Scandinavian built. So they are perfect for days like this. When the weather just isn't quite sure what it wants to do. All weather capability, but you can open up the top to make it really nice and airy in the summertime. A great, fantastic looking boat. What we've done is we have anti-filled the hull in pure white. The trailer comes with the boat as well, a double axle trailer. We have then re the hull to restore her to her original condition. And then we have also given the hull side an extensive machine polish. A wonderful shine coming off the Scandinavian built all-purpose cruiser. Attention now to the stern. You do have a very big extended swim platform, great for coming in and out of the water. It also does cover the drive leg as well at the back. We've got an aux bracket if you want to clip on your auxiliary if you're out at sea. And then the drive leg has been anti-filled also in grey, so she's in turnkey, you're ready for the season condition. Full package comes serviced, good to go. Tow and eye at the back, these diesel engines are very torquey, so if you've got a water skier in, you certainly can get her up and away. There is the hull number at the back, proving that she's an 06. Let's take a little look inside. Comfortable seating for at least three people, four at a squeeze. Everyone has their own guardrail at the back for safety. You've also got aft cleats on either side. It's one step down onto the transom, then another step down onto the extended swim platform. And you do feel from here that you are quite a wee bit away from the water. So if you've got kids, it is a nice and safe move. You've got your diesel filler cap there and then full walk around access by this ledge here up onto the bow, but you wouldn't do that anyway because you have the forward door to get straight out onto the bow anyway. Cushions lift up, underneath here lives the engine, and then you can also put on the top there your boat hook for a quick release if you do drop something. You've also then got, as you can see, the mechanism for your manual sliding roof, but there is good space out here for at least three people and maybe two fishermen, one on either side. Now this door will slide across and that will fully enclose this cockpit slash wheelhouse area. If you take a look out, you can see ample seating for as many guests as you want. We've got a teak and holly floor that's in very nice condition. Forward is access out onto the bow. Now we've got a fixed single berth there. More on that in just a moment to come. Underneath here, you do have a lot of sustainability utensils, so things like cooking facilities, a toilet and a sink. But let's just cover here. So we've got twin bench seats. Now they both face each other. You can as well rotate the table out and it swivels. So if you've got people on either side, they're having a spot of lunch, everyone can put their food and drink on the table. Also, if you're out the back and you're preparing bait for fishing, you can use this as well. You can remove it completely if you want. It is on a hinge and a swivel. And it was a, an aftermarket retrofit, so it can be done. Full curtain enclosures for everything in here if you want to shut it off for the evening. Now, what we can do if we are spending an evening on the boat, we can actually drop the backrests off of these down in between these two benches. And we can also take another filler cushion, turns this into a big double berth. We've now got the versatility to sleep not only two on this double here, but a third in that fixed single. So we've got ample accommodation for three. It is classed as a three berth cruiser. Now this is full beam of the cockpit space that it has. It means that you can spend the odd overnight or the odd weekend in the boat should you want to. Now back up again. What we've also got is underneath here a wee bit more of finger snapping. So utensils wise we've got our chemical portable toilet. We've also got a cold water, fresh water sink and then there is your cooking facility. So that is a, a single gas burner. You just bring a little butane tank, plug it onto the side and away you go. There's loads of ventilation. I've also cracked open the roof. 
just gives you the option, especially in the summer, to really transform this. You maintain the all-weather properties of the boat, but you can also slide it across and really make it feel very nice and open air. You can imagine with that bow window, uh, with the bow door open, if you are going at speed, it's going to let the air flow freely into this space. Your storage underneath there. More storage underneath here. And then to the forward, we also do have a refrigerator with a freezer compartment. Quite a new looking one that as well. You've got speakers down below and then let's focus on the helm. But first it is raining, so let me just close this over. Perfect. So we've got our onboard heating system control there. You've then got your EVC tilt and trim. Throttle, Garmin, GPS map. 415 so that will give you your your um your depth it will also give you your sort of like a sat nav of the sea it'll give you your charts the dash is wrapped with a carbon fiber effect it isn't carbon fiber but it does look nice i don't know if you can see that up close in person and then we've got all our tachometer speedometer everything in front of us it just in there is hydraulic trim tabs and then you've got your twin wiper controls and then the auxiliaries like your horn your nav lights that sort of thing there is a demister at the bow as well so the driver always has eyes on at the front very unique i must say in and in an all-weather cruiser like this to have this bow area you've got seating for two or three you've also got an anchor locker with a roller at the front and that gives you a nice view back looking through the cockpit of the boat so this is a great space to do a spot of fishing or just to sit with your feet up back against that relax and enjoy the views we do have a storage locker underneath here also and then this whole frontal area is drained you can also lock it as well so safety don't worry about it folks perfect what there is to do now is to show you the engine she's powered by a volvo penta d3 130 horsepower turbo diesel engine a remarkably clean engine bay now this since the previous owner, the retired Navy vet, had tenure ship over, we have always taken care of this boat and this engine. Now the D3 also comes in a 190 and a 220 horsepower variant, and um, so it can be tuned to produce a maximum of 220 horsepower. So at 130 horsepower, it really isn't likely to burn out anytime soon. The engine isn't being forced to work overly hard. Uh, also, these typically come with a 100 or a 120 horsepower petrol outboard in the back so with the diesel you do get a much better nautical range i'm ruben from marine sales scotland we're fun in the water begins